The main challenge that globalization poses to legal education is for the um, legal educators in each country to acknowledge how parochial their uh, own methods, uh, materials, and uh, perspectives have been, and then to cure uh, that, uh, that obvious defect in uh, range of view, which is not easy because so many legal educators don't know anything about uh, the rest of the world. I don't think addressing that challenge is a question for uh, government officials, policy makers, and others to impose on legal education. Uh, they wouldn't know how to do it. Uh, they don't really know enough about legal education and probably don't care. Uh, what has to happen is that the legal educators themselves recognize the challenge and also not policy makers in government and so on, but uh, the clients who the graduates of the law schools will serve uh, will increasingly insist that uh, the students uh, who are served up to them have uh, this broader perspective. Well, globalization in general should and under the pressure of what I would call the market for the products of legal education certainly will force attention to, uh, to a wider perspective. Interestingly enough, the uh, rising powers, particularly China, uh, are a challenge not only because they obviously don't share the same legal system as, uh, for instance, the United States uh, has, they have an entirely different conception of law and legality altogether. Uh, and uh, that requires considerable adjustment. Uh, I'm sure that's true about China. Uh, I'm not so sure that it's true about India or Brazil. But of all of them, China swamps in importance uh, the others, although, you know, India will eventually make itself felt. Uh, but the main challenge coming from uh, China is that uh, China has uh, a very different notion of legality, not just of the rules of law, jurisprudence, and so on. Uh, and that takes some adjusting to.